All right, welcome back everyone. Chief Sheridan here. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about basic navigation of ad hoc OBIEE. As always, I encourage you to log into the live site and follow along with me on your end. So as you can see here, I'm already logged into ad hoc OBIEE. You can access that through your ad hoc tile on your HR professional homepage. Once you select that tile, it'll take you to your homepage for ad hoc by default. On your home page, you can see any recent dashboards you've accessed. So you can see here my dashboard, readiness and manning analytics, any recent dashboards that I've visited. Below that in your others box, you'll have any recent analysis, filters or dashboard prompts that you've accessed. Now on each of these, you have an open option, which will take you to a view only. Edit will obviously allow you to edit that analysis or dashboard and you have a more dropdown. Under more, I can print this to a PDF or HTML directly from here. I have multiple export options and I can add to favorites. I select add to favorites. You should see your favorites icon populate. And if you hover over your favorites dropdown and select manage favorites folder, this is where you can come to customize your favorites for your own profile. So you can see here, the favorite that we just set is already in here. At any time I can remove that favorite and I can also add a new category or a new folder. Add a new folder. Everything in, in this box is drag and drop. So if I wanna move this favorite to my new folder, I can see it's now located here. Like I said, at any time I can remove those favorites. At any time I can rename my new folder view. Or I can get rid of the folder altogether. So like I said, this is where you can come to customize your favorites for your own profile. That brings us to catalog. So catalog is where you can come to customize your own folders. You can add folders, um, rename folders, delete folders. You can rename reports, relocate reports, um, delete reports, so on and so forth. So you can see where it says my folders. Anyone who has ad hoc OBIEE access has a my folders that's unique to you and you alone. Directly to the right of where it says folders, you can see you have a tog toggle options between your viewing of your folder panes. So whatever your preference is. Directly above that, you have a drop down where you can change the view of your analysis and folders on your right hand side. And no different than the My Favorites folder, everything in here is drag and drop. So if I wanted to relocate one of these reports into a different folder, I simply drag it and drop it where I want. And now I can see that report is located here. No different than the home screen, I have my open option, my edit option and my more dropdown. So you can see under more, I can delete this report I can rename it. I can add it to favorites from here. I have multiple export options, or I can copy the report and paste it somewhere else. Down below on the left-hand side, you can see that I have all those same options there as well. Directly above it, I also have the same options up here. Now, when it comes to adding folders, I can add folders one of two ways. The first way is in catalog itself, and it's the easier way. So if I wanna add a folder, I simply select an existing folder, and I come down here to my taskbar, and I select copy. Once I copy that folder, I'm going to select the location that I want to paste the folder in. 
In this case, I'll paste it in my My Folders, and I'm going to paste. You can see the copy of the bullet folder that I just copy and paste it over is now located in My Folders. Bearing in mind that any analysis or folders that are located in that folder that you copy will also carry over. But I can simply delete that report. And now I can select my copy of the folder and rename it. Once again, everything in here is drag and drop. So if I wanted to make this a subfolder, I can do that. Or I can put it right back. So that's the easier way to add a new folder. Now you also have a shared folders in catalog. Shared folders is where we can save public reports uh, or dashboards where any ad hoc OBIE user can go out and grab. Now, when you're navigating around the shared folders, I would use caution because I think it's happened twice now since we went live in release three, where um, a user came into the shared folders in catalog and maybe tested out the meaning of this word delete down here. I assure you that this button is very well named. If you select delete, it is going to delete that folder for everyone. So if the folder is not yours, the report is not yours, um, don't rename it, don't try and delete it, contact the owner of that folder. The second point there is if you have a report you're trying to rename, um, or a folder you're trying to rename, but you don't have that option, it's most likely because the owner of that folder has set it to read only. So if you have a folder that you're trying to rename and you don't have the option, come down to properties once you select your folder and check and see if read only is checked. If it is, contact the owner of that folder because once read only is checked, only the owner is able to edit or modify the folder and all the contents in it. Last but not least, on your top left hand side, you have a drop down to start a new analysis. That's where you go to build your own custom queries. You can build a custom filter and save it. So if you have a complex filter or maybe one that you use um, pretty frequently, you can save that filter and simply import it into new analysis or custom queries. We have dashboard prompts that you can create and save, no different than readiness and manning analytics. If you remember those dashboard prompts were on your left-hand side and that's the filter options that you have. And then finally, you have report job, which allows you to schedule um, predefined reports for whatever schedule you throw in there and it'll run on that scheduled basis for you to go out and grab. Click on my home page. Now, just like we talked about in catalog, that analysis filter dashboard prompt and report job is also available on your left hand side of your home page. And if I hover over new, those options are here as well. If I select analysis, this being an institutional training environment, I have access to all the subject area folders. With that being said, if you're following along with me, you probably only see the three bottom subject area folders on your end. The basic HR professional user will only have access to these three folders. So soldier analytics current only is your by name soldier data. So if you're trying to get a by name list of all ETSs or MRC3s, MRC4s, whatever report you're running, this is the by name soldier data. Historical would be the equivalent of this, but with inactive IPSA records. And then finally, summary analytics in comparison to the by name soldier data is your roll up metrics. 
So these are strictly roll up numbers or metrics, no by name data. I know I mentioned that there's two ways to add folders. The first way we've already looked at in catalog. Um, the second way is in my dashboard. So if you hover over dashboards and select my dashboard, there should be a toolbar on your right hand side and I'm gonna select edit dashboard. Should look like this. Now on your left hand side, you have a number of dashboard objects. We're going to select folder and drag and drop it over to our dashboard. Within that folder, you should have a properties button. Go ahead and select folder properties and select browse. Once you select browse, you're going to select the folder that you want to add a folder to, and you should see the add folder icon uncover. So in this case, I'm gonna add a new folder to my folders. Select okay. And now I can see the new folder has been added. So that's the second way you can add a folder. Go back to my homepage. And the final thing I wanna talk about in this navigation video is our shared reports. So on your top right hand side, you should have a open drop down. You hover over your open drop down and select your open folder. No different than catalog, this is where I can come find reports, whether it's in my folders or in shared folders. So with your shared reports, there's nothing wrong with coming out here and grabbing a report that's in a shared folder and saving it to your own profile. That's the entire premise behind this shared public folder is that we can collaborate and work together. But what I wanna ensure is that when you're selecting a shared folder, so I'll just select this one, the very first thing you should do is save as to your own profile. Because if you start making changes or editing an analysis that doesn't belong to you, you could potentially save over that work in the shared folder and you just saved over someone else's work. So in this scenario, I just grabbed a shared analysis. And the first thing I wanna do on the top right hand side is select my save as button. So on the right hand side, I have my save as directly next to it is save. I wanna save as, I wanna place that analysis in my folder. Now this report is unique to me and me alone, and I'm not saving over someone else's work in a shared folder. That's all we have for you on this navigation video. I uh, hope you got something out of it. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions of me on this video, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, if you have an item or feature that you want me to cover in a future video, don't forget to leave that in the comment section as well. And thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next time. Defend and serve.